Nowadays, Minecraft and Discord servers go hand in hand. You want a Minecraft server for the gaming and a Discord server so you have a place where your players can hang around outside of the game. It is almost essential for a great and active community, but still, they are two separate places. How great would it be if you can link them together? Well, you can. With a Minecraft plugin called Discord SRV, it essentially allows you to merge your Discord and Minecraft chats, so that if you send a message in one server, Server, it will also appear in the other. But Discord SRV can do so much more. And today I'm going to show you how it all works and all the cool features that this plugin has to offer. Make sure to subscribe if you've not done so yet. Close to 90% of my viewers is not subscribed to my channel, so hitting that subscribe button will make a real difference. So there are two main steps to setting up this plugin. We need to create a Discord bot and we need to install the plugin on our Minecraft server. But let's start out with the bot. So the first thing you want to do is click on the link in the description of this video, which will take you to the Discord developer portal. Now over here under applications, you want to create create a new application. I'm going to call it SRV for this video, but you can just give it whatever name. Then you need to accept the terms of service and click on create. So now that we've created our application, we need to change a couple of settings. First, you want to click on the bot tab on the left of your screen. And in there, when scrolling down, the first thing you want to change is the public bot setting. We don't want this bot to be public. It's going to be a private bot, only for us. So we're going to uncheck this setting. Then we're going to be scrolling down a little further and over over here under privileged gateway intents you need to enable the server members intent and the message content intent make sure to save your settings of course and now that that's done it's time to install the plugin so to get the plugin we're gonna go to spigot mc of course link will also be down below simply click on download now and after that drag the plugin into the plugins folder of your minecraft server now after installing the plugin and rebooting your minecraft server we're gonna go back to the bot because now we need the bot token. It is required to put this bot token into the config file of Discord SRV. But I do want to say right away, don't give this bot token to anyone. If somebody has your bot token, they're essentially able to access your bot. And depending on which permissions your bot has on your Discord server, they could use it for some very, very bad stuff. So keep your bot token private. But when going to the bot tab, all the way at the top under token, you will probably see the button reset token. So what you want to do is click on there it will say your bot will stop working until you update the token in your bot's code well yes that's that's totally fine so this over here this is your bot token and you want to copy it then you want to go back to your minecraft server directory go to the plugins folder then the discord srv folder inside of there you should see a config.yml file open this one up and all the way at the top on line 9 in my case it says bot token. The bot token we just copied, you want to paste inside of here. And then you're going to click on save content. Now, after we've done that, you want to go to Discord. We need to actually create a Discord server. Now, big chance you already have a Discord server. But if you don't, let me show you how to create one. So in the bottom left on your Discord client, you'll see a beautiful plus button. When you click on there, you can create your own server. So we're going to create our own. It's going to be for me and my friends. Why not? And I'm going to call it the Member Cat Fan Club. YouTube members will know what I'm talking about. We're simply going to click on Create. And there we go. After creating a server, you want to go back to your bot. This time, we're going to go to General Information. And over here, you want to look for your application ID. Simply click on Copy. And then navigate to this beautiful, simple website called scars.me. Of course, there will be a link down below. But you want to go to that website and then simply do Ctrl V just like that. But basically this website allows us to invite a Discord bot to our Discord server in a very very simple way. You want to select the server that you want to invite your bot to and then just click on authorize. And that's it. The bot has now joined. So the next thing you want to do is enable developer mode in your Discord client. So simply go to your user settings. Then you want to go to advanced and over here at the top you will see the developer mode switch. Now the reason we need this enabled is because when we now right click on a channel you can see all the way at the bottom we have the option to copy the channel ID. So now you want to copy the channel ID of the channel that you want to sync with your Minecraft in-game chat. Then you want to 
go back to the configuration file of Discord SRV. The same place where we base it in the bot token. You want to scroll down and then on line 30, it should say channels global. Now in this line, you want to replace all these zeros with the channel ID we just copied. And something which you can also do is set up a Discord console channel. You know this console, the place where you can type in commands, you can use it to reboot your server, you can see all of your logs appear. Well, you can also have a console like this in a private Discord channel. So the way you want to do that is we can, for example, create a new channel. I'm going to call it console. I'm going to make sure it is a private channel so only I and maybe my admins can access it. Now we're going to right click on this channel, copy this channel ID and paste it in the Discord SRV config file on line 33 or wherever it says Discord console channel ID. Now another setting you want to change is on line 36, where you want to make sure it shows a valid invitation link for your Discord server. So I'm just going to replace it fully with uh, kasaisara.com slash Discord, which if you're not in there yet, you should definitely join. It will be epic to see you there before the bot starts working. We need to give it the right permissions. So to give permissions on Discord, you want to go to your server settings, then you want to go to roles, and inside of there, we're going to create a new role. This role, we're going to call, I'm going to do bots. After that, you want to go to the permissions tab, and here you need to choose permissions. So here you got two options. You can either add every single one of the permissions that it shows over here, or the easy option is scrolling down and just giving your bot administrator permissions. Now do keep in mind that this permission is very dangerous because it allows your bot to do anything on your Discord server except for deleting it. So leaking your bot token now can literally destroy your Discord server in seconds if it falls in the wrong hands, of course. So keep your Discord bot token safe. But we're simply going to click on save changes, just administrator permissions. That's the easiest. And then we're going to go to manage members and we're going to add SRV. Add, there we go, beautiful. Now just to show you that everything works, in our general chat on Discord, you can now see all the activity on your Minecraft server. So our bot will send a message when the server starts. It will send a message when a player joins. It will send a message when the server stops. And when I now send a message on our server, like, hi there, how are you doing? It will also appear on the Discord server. So Kasasura is saying, hi there, how are you doing? And when I respond, for example, I'm doing great great, thanks, just like that, that message will also appear in the Minecraft server. So from Discord, Kasasura is saying, I'm doing great, thanks. Now that is cool. And as you can see, the console also works perfectly fine. So all your logs will now appear over here in the console channel. And you can actually execute commands from here now too. So when we send whitelist on, it will actually give feedback. Whitelist is already turned on. So this channel now just fully functions as a console. It is super convenient. So we've now set up the base of Discord SRV, making sure that all the messages we send in Minecraft are also being sent in Discord and the other way around. But Discord SRV has a lot more cool features that we should at least take a look at. One of them is syncing, and it basically allows you to sync your Minecraft ranks and Discord roles. So currently on this Minecraft server, I have Lugworms installed, and I created two groups, Default and VIP. Hi horse, why you want to walk here from all places? By the way, if you have no clue how Lugperms works or how to create ranks in Minecraft in general, there's a full video about Lugperms on the channel already. I will leave a link to the card in case you want to check it out. But what we can do with Discord SRV syncing is making it so that when somebody has a rank on your Minecraft server, they will also get a certain role on your Discord server. So let's check it out. <laughs> This horse, come on, man. So assuming you've already set up Lugworms and all of your ranks, it is time to actually create some roles. So we're gonna go back to our Discord server settings, then to roles, and over here, we're gonna create some more roles. So I'm gonna create one called default. We're gonna give it a beautiful color, just like that. And then we're gonna click on save. I'm gonna create another one called VIP. This one, we're gonna give a different color and then save again. Make sure your bot role is on 
on top. Otherwise, Discord SRV is not going to be able to give out these roles. Now, after you've organized your roles, it is time to copy some role IDs. So let's start off with the default role. This default role we want to synchronize with the default rank in Minecraft. The way you want to do that is right click on this role and then copy the role ID. You should see this option because we still have developer mode enabled. Then in your Minecraft server directory, you want to navigate to your Discord SRV folder once again. But now instead of the config.yml, we're going to go to synchronization.yml. And inside of here, you want to scroll down all the way until at line 36, you see group role synchronization group and role to sync. Why is that the name of this setting? I don't know. <laughs> but this is the setting you want to be looking for. Now over here, you want to type in the name of your Minecraft rank. So for me, that is default and then VIP. A VIP is already here, so I don't have to change it. But if you, for example, have an MVP rank in your Minecraft server, then you just need to type MVP here. And then what you want to do is paste in the role ID you want to sync this rank with. So the default rank in Minecraft, I want to sync with this Discord role ID, the one we just copied. Now you want to do the same thing with the VIP role. So simply go there, click on copy role ID, and then we simply want to paste in the role ID over here. Now, if you have more roles that you want to sync, more than two, you can simply copy this whole section and then just paste the section in again, just like that. And then you can, for example, make this one mod and then add the ID for a mod role over here. Now, before your players will start receiving roles, they first have to link their Minecraft and Discord accounts so the Discord SRV knows which Minecraft account belongs to who. In game, your players want to execute the command slash Discord link. This will provide them with a code that they have to DM to the Discord SRV bot. So back in Discord, we're gonna click on the SRV bot and now we're gonna send a message. Now this message needs to only contain the code we just got in game. So for me, that is 8351. Make sure it doesn't contain anything else, just your code. Now we're gonna press enter and there we go. Your Discord account has been linked to Kasai Sora. And after doing that, you're done. When somebody now gets a new rank on your Minecraft server, they will automatically also get the corresponding role on Discord. Now there's one more feature I wanna go over in this video, and that is the linking settings. So when in your Discord SRV folder, there will also be a file called linking.yml. Now inside of this file, there are some settings you might wanna change. The first setting here is require linking, and enabling this means that as soon as somebody attempts to join your server, before even getting in, they will immediately be prompted to link their Discord account. So this is essentially what that would look like. People would have to DM the bot immediately before they can even play. Now there can be multiple reasons why you would like to require linking. The main reason, I think, would be to limit your Minecraft server to only people who have a specific Discord role. So when we scroll to the bottom of this file, over here you will see subscriber roles. Now this is basically a system that allows you to only let for example, Twitch subscribers join your Minecraft server. So when you require linking, and after that you set require subscriber role to true, only players that have a specific role on your Discord server will then be able to join your Minecraft server. Now the example they give here is with Twitch subscribers. But you can of course also use this for any other instance. Let's say you have a Discord server where members have to verify first before they can send any messages or see any chats. And they will get a verified role as soon as they have verified. Well, in theory, you could set this to true, add that verified role here, and then just let this message say, make sure to verify on Discord uh, before playing. Something like that. Doesn't have to be a subscriber role at all. You can use this for many instances. But I found this setting very useful in the past, and I think many of you will also enjoy it. Now, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Discord SRV is an absolutely massive plugin that allows you to do basically anything between a Discord and Minecraft server. It is really cool. Now, there is another massive feature in Discord SRV, which essentially allows you to have proximity chats inside of Minecraft through this 
Discord. Now, because I don't want this video to get too long, I've decided to not include it here. But if you would like to see a tutorial on how to add Discord SRV proximity chat, make sure to let me know in the comments down below, and I will definitely get to it as soon as possible. But that is gonna be everything for today. I really hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You would help me out so much by doing that. Also, make sure to join my Discord if you're not in there yet. It will be awesome to see you there. And thank you so much to my channel members for the incredible support. You guys are legends. And then I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.